Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Synergy. And today's Synergy will be the Blueberry Slon, also known as the High Slon, who will be bringing Baronis Tywar, Baronis Tywar, however you say it, <clears throat> giving it to these uh, nasty old uh, Temple Guards here. Now, uh, Temple Guard are very good um, heavy infantry. Um, they can cut through literally everything. And they'll be taking on Norska, so thanks to uh, Zedigan for setting... Uh, sending me this replay here. Uh, we do have uh, three, no, four Temple Guard actually. One Chameleon Skink, one um, Umbral Tide, two Skinko or Javelins, a Sora Spear with Shield, a Bastilodon with Solar Engine, and a Feral Carnosaur, and of course, a High Slon, Light Slon, sorry. Okay, I'm stupid. Uh, my bad. Why am I, wait, what? Okay, yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. Mistake, mistake. We have Net of Amatok, Bronis Time Warp, and Foss Protection. Along with Arcane Conduit and Shield of Old Ones. And yeah, that's right. Why did I say it was a freaking blueberry salon? What the heck? I don't know. It looks like a blueberry salon to me. I don't know why. I just thought it was because the color scheme. But for the Norskins, we do have five Marauder front line. We do have the Brutes of the Hound. Uh, Wolfric the Wanderer on foot. No, it's on horseback with uh, the Mistalkers, one unit of Thimir Warriors. We do have Maws of Savagery and four units of. Marauder Horseman, along with a Shaman Sorcerer of Death, bringing Spirit Leech and a Fate Yuna. So, I don't know about this Norskin build. Uh, I'm surprised we don't see any Marauder um, Horse Masters here and uh, some Fimir, like, well, so a little more Fimir, at least, like, possibly three of them. Maz of Shavagery are all, uh, eh, they're all right. I like the Fimir. The, the Fimir are better in this matchup, though. Uh, interesting to see Wolfric on. Uh, on his little steed here but yeah very interesting but um yeah we'll get right into the battle and uh, sorry guys for that mistake there uh, mistaking the blueberry salon for uh the life salon but yeah zedigan is going to kind of like move up with his community skis kind of play the kite game a little bit they both have stock so they won't be uh seen right um at the beginning of the battle so they'll be able to kind of push forward without the norse skin player knowing and kind of just shoot them away very uh very um effectively so you can basically just shoot him uh, and then kite back you know do that, all that stuff but he has he is gonna have to watch out for these marauder horsemen because they can't commit to melee and kind of surround you and uh bog you down pretty quickly and easily uh, especially with numbers so you have to watch out for that indeed uh we do have the solar engine that should start targeting uh Fimir, in my opinion Fimir, uh death sorcerer maz savagery are good as well and yeah, I think that's basically yeah, that's basically it. But Chameleon's Kings do get a nice um uh hit, hit here, and he does charge. This is exactly what I was talking about. Uh, pretty big misplay by Zedigan. Honestly, he should have pulled them back a little earlier than usual. Once you see those uh, cav units coming up, you kind of want to pull back because if they get spotted, you're kind of dead, especially with no support whatsoever. And yeah, this is gonna suck because all the run. But I mean, this also could open up to um the Umbral Tide who are shooting in here. And they're gonna do quite a bit of damage here. Oh, yep. This is yep. This is this is also kind of why you don't blow it up a little bit. But he did lose a chameleon skin to him. I think that's just a better trade on his part. Honestly, Norse skin player should pull back, uh, kind of like quit trying to skirmish down. I mean, he did take out one chameleon skin. Uh, you could try and isolate units. Uh, but Zedigan kind of playing a little bit passive here, moving his formation. He uh, he kind of needs to move forward. Um, I don't know. If he's, why he's just staying here, but I mean, he does have the solar engine, so I mean, that's an explanation. And actually, Norska should have moved forward, like, earlier, honestly. And this is a big, ooh, that's gonna hurt. And yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's gonna hurt, especially when they're in column formation. It's not the best for them whatsoever. Uh, uh, it's, yeah, it's gonna sting for sure. Uh, Norskian players should really just, like, kind of run back with them and stop trying to attack. Because he's just constantly attacking with these guys, and he's just going to pay for it. Because Umbral Tide, Skink Skirmishers, and all that stuff will just rack up kills here. And you're basically just feeding them at this point in the battle. So just kind of get them out of call in formation, pull back behind this rock, take cover. Uh, just wait for a little bit, and then come in when your infantry collides. I think that's the best opportunity to kind of be more effective with them. I mean, you did get a Chameleon Skink, and that's definitely worth it. You didn't take too much losses, but... Now you just took a huge amount of losses. You have two two units routing. To, all of your units are depleted. 
And I mean, Zedigan does get spear leeched on the Umbral Tide here, and uh, yeah, I don't. He's gotta. He's gotta play them a little more passive here. Uh, don't get him too aggressive. Uh, just stay a little bit back here, and he does. So I mean, uh, I don't know if uh, you should be targeting Vimir. They're a little bit high, but I mean, if you do hit him spot on in the face, they could go down really easily. Uh, but yeah, they're not going to take too much damage. They have too uh, much heavy armor. And these Umbral Tide are getting Spear leaves the crap out of. Oh my gosh. And it looks like Bjorn's Time Warp is going down. And this is what I was talking about. And this energy is going to rock house. Uh, and the Fimir are kind of trying to get through here. And the Fim Oh my gosh. These Temple Guard are doing a number. Oh my. This is a yikers. Oh, but a nice boat coming from the Norskin player here. And wow, that was actually a great boat. We do have the Umbral Tide shooting in, so this is a great um, kind of like uh, combo here. You have uh, Temple Guard in the front lines and shooting in. And those those Temple Guard are beating the crap out of the Thymir so easily with Time Warp here. And we do have Shield of the Old Ones being popped here and Fight or Die. Carnosaur jumping in, and this is not a good engagement for the Norsecan player. You're blobbing up way too much. And uh, taking this engagement does really suck. Uh, if you did have Cav, you could get kind of like in the back line and kind of break these units apart. Uh, you're blobbing up a little too much. You have uh, Fimir Warriors that went in uh, way too far. Kind of pull, You should have pulled them back out. Let your infantry kind of cut them down and just try and overlap or one flank. Uh, but yeah, I think Skin Wolves... Yeah, I don't like the Skin Wolves here. Get them, get them out of here. I mean, they do regen, so I mean, it's not too bad. Roots of the Hound should be in here trying to help uh, Wolfric. And yeah, I don't. Yeah, this is not going too well. But that synergy is so strong. It literally just cut. I mean, it's Norske Marauder, so I mean, you can't be too impressed. But you saw the Thimir just get absolutely deleted along with the Skin Wolves. I mean, that, that, that was pretty cool, in my opinion. But I don't know if that's. And that's. He's going to surrender. And that was a quick one, guys. A very quick one. And I mean, it was over by the time he lost that engagement, for sure. Wolfric was going about was about to go down as well. And yeah, I mean, gosh dang, the synergy between those two destroyed everything. They got they racked up quite a few kills too. Um, Umbral Tide doing a number as well. Uh, we do have the uh, Source Spears doing quite well as indeed here. Um, and the Marauder Horsemen did do something. I mean, they did kill the Command Skeets. So that was a fair trade. But I think he misplayed. Uh, very much with those guys. Um, uh, I don't know. I feel like he 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 should have spread them out a little more and kind of uh, cut it back a little earlier so he could have them for the late game. Um, and kind of use their ammo to get rid of the umbral tide and then uh, help just push through the back line and kind of uh, harass Zedigan's forces. But I mean, it was a great. It was a pretty good game whatsoever. I mean, it showcased why uh, the the synergy right here. So I mean. We could also mix this build up, guys. I mean, it's I, I liked it, though. I liked it very much. The synergy worked really well. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like uh, and subscribe. Uh, comment down below what you guys want to see next. And if you have um, any um, suggestions on the uh, different synergies. And I will get to you guys uh, pretty quickly because, I mean, I do check my comments as kind of uh, pretty often. But, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, guys, and as always, peace out.